You're watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WVVH TV, Hampton's Television. All right, another year, Shanette. Shanette Barth Cohen, who's the executive director of the Hampton Classic, and you manage everything. And well, certainly not single-handedly. We have an amazing team of people. They make me look good because they really know their jobs. They do an incredible job at all of their tasks. And um, I'm so proud to represent the Hampton Classic as the executive director, but it takes so many people working very hard. It takes a herd of them. It, exactly, exactly, <laughs> including our great media partner, WBBH Hampton right, Television. Right. We, we, we enjoy being here. It's like, uh, it's like well, it's a family. One of, one of your staff mentioned that it's like, a, truly, it's like a family. It's we, true, it's true, and I feel like it's a bit of a and reunion. you know how, what I feel about my brother, which isn't such a compliment, <laughs> but a regular family, a normal family, is terrific. Exactly. But, um, and they start working Grand Prix Sunday and that Monday, Oh, you, right. You, you start right up. Absolutely. We actually, in some ways, we're working for next year already because we start thinking, we have a list going of things we can improve for next year, um, and we're talking to potential partners already that will come take a look this year to maybe work with us next year. So um, it's constantly uh, something we're working on year-round. And for you boys and girls at home that have these you know, huge companies, internet companies or manufacturing companies, it is probably the best ad dollar that you can spend to be a sponsor. Oh, Don't thanks. you think? I think so. Thanks for saying that, Greg. No, because yeah. you get the, the demographic, and we've tested this since 1996, can be no finer. You could, um, you know, put a, uh, you can sell virtually anything from jewelry to real estate to, uh, to fine wines and champagne. It, 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 the group here are uh, the trendsetters, the people that actually, in, of influencers, I guess you call them. We could go, well, I'll call them that, sure. No, I agree. I think it's really, you're reaching a fabulous audience, and also it's a great way to entertain your own guests and clients if you want to bring people here. The hospitality opportunities are incredible, but also reaching the audience that comes here, whether they're table patrons or sitting in our grandstands, um, it's really a great way to, to now, showcase upcoming. Brand. If yeah. you have children at home and they're chomping at the bit to do something this weekend, Kids Day, Altis uh, Kids Day, which uh, continues in the Cablevision tradition. Yes, it's actually, this time it's presented by um, News Channel 12. Oh, wonderful. Yes. That's good. The great, great News Channel 12. And uh, it's a great place to bring the kids, petting zoo, face painting, up close and personal with horses. They get to meet the riders, the young riders. And oftentimes, through the years, uh, people, young children, are influenced to be equestrians. Absolutely. So kids under 12 get a free pony ride that day. And we do have all those activities. We have magicians and... Um, Stilt people. St exactly. Circus performers, all kinds fact, of fun I'm on stuff. stilts right now. No. I, I am. <laughs> um, so it's a great day to come out. Uh, that's Saturday. But, you know, we actually have different kids' activities every day. We have, a, have petting zoo animals, and we have pony rides every single day. And the ASP, ASPCA has a... Wonderful. We have Adoption Day, actually. Adoption yeah, Day. We have, um, not, ASPC is not involved with that anymore, but we right. have a number of oh, animal right. rescues involved. So you shouldn't buy a pet. My pet is a rescue. No, there's nothing wrong with buying pets, nah. but also rescues are fantastic. And you can get a horse, you can get a llama, you can get whatever, but it's a great thing. And a lot of people come with the intention of uh, bringing something special home. And when you're not bringing a Hamptons Classic T-shirt, which they have great uh, the booth there. All, the souvenir shop has lots of great the Hampton Classic Boutique we have all kinds of souvenir keepsakes with the Hampton Classic logo sweatshirts and, and those things never hats. wear out they're not like those uh, Yankee hats that keep, well, I shouldn't say that <laughs> where's Marty <laughs> exactly I know we're missing Marty today <laughs> but it's a, a lot of fun and I think that um, for tickets and information it's Hampton HamptonClassic.com and Get your tickets early because last year there was like a, a rush that the, the availability. Right, so tickets are at this point, um, you can't buy them online. You need to come in person at okay, our on site okay. ticket booth. But we have our ticket booth here all week. And if you come earlier in the week to buy your tickets for Grand Prix Sunday, you will get a pass for the general admission for when you come back. So you would only pay the general admission the and one that's time. That's a carload. That's a carload pass, exactly. So if you could imagine putting as many people as you could imagine in your car, that one pass will let you come in and it'll allow you to uh, wander around the boutique area, see the horses, enjoy the event, and there's an awful lot to see. Uh, you know, there's, uh, at every stripe you have the young riders, which are the most fascinating group to see, 
as well as you have, uh, um, you know, Olympic gold medalists and, and different people. Absolutely, and you know, this year we're the last stop, really, before the World Equestrian Games, which are going to be in two weeks in Tryon, North Carolina. And so we have a number of riders, um, four of the five riders selected for the U.S. team will be competing here, as well as some other riders from other countries will be riding here before they head to the World Equestrian Games. So we're really excited. So the people in New York and Westchester and Queens and Brooklyn, and you're sitting at home, you're watching this thing on TV. The main thing is that you can come out, you can participate, and it's a one. There's plenty of parking, plenty of, you know, wonderful food uh, concession stands that you can enjoy. A nice, nice meal, and uh, you enjoy the an open. It's a beautiful day. The weather you you have arranged worked, to make. We worked you hard worked on the weather. The yeah. weather. <laughs> It's not windy. It's not, and no bugs, no, no pollutants in the air at all. You come out and enjoy the thing. And a horse is a very therapeutic thing, which brings us to Monday. Yeah. So Monday, in addition to being adoption day, where there are dogs, cats, and horses looking for their forever homes, right. it's the finals of the Long Island Horse Show series for riders with disabilities. So those are riders who've been competing all spring and summer for the chance to ride in the finals here at the Hampton Classic. So when you first came on, that was your invention. That was your. I worked with yes, with. Um, the people who actually run the program, they came to me and were wanting to do maybe an exhibition or something to raise awareness. Because normally about we closed on Monday. Well, we had shopping, but we right. didn't have actual competition right. on Monday, correct. And so one of the things that they were asking is if they could do something with us to showcase therapeutic riding programs, because it's really great for developmental, um, you know, for development of people sure, with sure. different disabilities. Yeah. So we then, after talking, decided, why do an exhibition? Let's have an actual competition. And then they took that that we were doing the, the finals here to go to many other shows and create a whole series of competitions all spring. And it's and wonderful. It's, it's held at the rink behind the Grand Prix ring. And you can go there and enjoy it and cheer, cheer these. And these Monday's heroic, free. Monday's, Monday's free Monday's to come. Monday's free. And, and you can enjoy the, the, the competition. These people are very heroic. They do a great job. And the whole team that that mounts them up is, uh, is yeah, something else. Yeah, all the else. different programs, they, they bring their volunteers to take care of the horses and a lot, a lot of the riders, some of them need sidewalkers and, and people who are assisting them and then some of those riders are also able to compete independently. So we have different competitions depending on the level of the competitor. And, and it's great because you have um, that side of the Hampton Classic and uh, it's all inclusive. So we, uh, we enjoy the whole thing. We enjoy bringing it to air. We, um, and uh, we're very proud to be here. Very proud to know you, Jeanette. We're if happy we to had, have you here if too. we had a sister, it would be Jeanette. I say this all the time, <laughs> but uh, you know she would be it because she has the uh, the stuff and she can put up with her stuff. easy stuff, right? <laughs> I'm <laughs> happy. That's one of the nicest compliments I've ever received. <laughs> I know, but you're more. I, I tolerate you a lot better than my brother, okay. so you know I have to say that. But I know this is going to be edited out to air because <laughs> he sits on every inch of what I say here. Again, thank you very much for inviting so us, much, and uh, enjoy the competition, enjoy the, the beautiful venue if you come out, and uh, go and look for tickets, come out over here and buy tickets, and support the Hampton Classic, either as a sponsor or as an attendee. Thank you very much. You're watching the Hampton Classic Horse Show on WVVH-TV.